Akumiyawi, she's here in chat. You should tell the Game of Thrones story to Akumiyawi? No, I want her to think I'm cool, not stupid and weird. I can't tell her the Game of Thrones story. I need to be cool and mysterious. You missed your pickup line. Shut up. I didn't miss anything. It was like the sun was in my eyes. I uh, like, you know, I was distracted by the duel. Do logs, you play card games on the internet? I know, and I want to be cool. Are you saying that I can tell the story because there's no way I can possibly be cool? Okay, I'll tell the story. I like telling it anyway. So one day, I was it was at my old job that I used to work at. There was this girl I worked with. And uh, we never actually worked together before, even though we'd been at the same company for like a few years. Because she always worked like in the birthdays and I worked like in the other part of the places. So anyways, we start working together for a bit and we start talking. She's, she's really fun to talk to. She's really cool. This is probably irrelevant to the story, but she was also a big breasted goth girl. So that was pretty neat. And one day when we were talking, um, cause like we, we went to different stations, she would come over to my stations to talk. I mentioned offhandly in one of our conversations that, uh, <laughs> she, <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know, I really like red hair. And then the next week she came in with her hair dyed red. And I was like, this is a sign, right? This is totally a sign. So I asked her out and she said, yes. And we went on a date. We went to the movies. And before the movies, we went and get to get something to eat. And we sat down and we started talking. And I was like, so, you know, um, how was work? She's like, eh, you know, it's all right. It's like, oh, okay. Um, what do you do for fun? She's like, oh, um, I just work. I was like, uh, what about at home? What, what do you do for fun at home? She's like, oh, I just, I watch, I watch TV, I guess. It's like, oh, you watch TV? What, what do you watch on TV? She's like, whatever's on. I was like, oh, um, have you ever heard of Game of Thrones? She's like, I have heard of it. What, what, what's that? I was like, oh boy, it's a great TV show. So I started meticulously explaining everything about Game of Thrones, starting with the first season, going through all the characters. It's like, so it starts in Winterfell. There's these things called the Starks and the Lannisters. And um, I started explaining all the houses, all the theories that were going on. She was like, oh, she seemed really interested in it. She, she was really into it. You know, she's like, oh, that's cool. She's like, oh, I didn't know that. She's like, I thought things were going well. We watched the movie. I talked about Game of Thrones in between stuff. We come out. We're like, oh boy, well, that was a cool movie. She's like, so, um, I asked her, like, so what, what do you want to do next? She's like, well, we can go back to your place. And I was like, uh, okay, I guess. So on the way to my place, we talk, I talk about Game of Thrones some more, you know, cause there's a lot to talk about. You know, I have to explain like, you know, all of the Starks, they all have their own stories. They, you know, there, there's Arya Stark, you know, Sansa, uh, you know, Jon Snow, like, oh my God. So we go back to my place and we go into my room and we watch another movie. And while we're watching the movie, I just keep talking about Game of Thrones. Like we're not really watching the movie. We're just, um, <laughs> we're, we're, we're like, I, I start explaining like the Lannisters and you know, all of their machinations and like, you know, Tyrion, he thinks he's so smart, but he's actually not that smart. It's just like the people around him, they're playing him. So it looks like he's really accomplishing things, but he's not really. And yeah, I kept going. And then after the movie was over, I was like, okay, you know, that was a good second movie watch. So you want me to take you home? She's like, yeah, sure, I guess. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm not sure why you're disappointed, but yeah, let's go home. So I drive her home and I talk, I keep telling about Game of Thrones. And by the time we're done, by the time I take her home, I've explained all of the first season because we, we, the date was like eight hours long. We, we were at this for a while. And then the next day I was like, man, that was a great time out. I had so much fun. So I texted her the next day. It's like, hey, you want to grab lunch? She just ghosts me. I was like, okay, maybe she's sick. <laughs> so <laughs> the, the next day, like I, we work together and I go to her, it's like, hey, what's up? And she just like ignores me. And I was like, oh, congratulations. well, you, you know, congratulations. You played yourself. I being the gentleman, it's like, well, she doesn't want to talk to me. I'm not going to push this. And I just never talked to her again. And then years later, I was telling this story on stream. And the stream was like, you know, it was probably because you talked about Game of Thrones the whole time. That's why she never talked to you again. Like, I didn't tell this story with the focus on Game of Thrones. I talked about Game of Thrones, like, you know, when I first told the story. And the stream informed me that the reason she probably never wanted to talk to me again was because all I did was talk about Game of Thrones the entire time. And then also when she wanted to go back to my place that she probably wanted to do something else besides watch a movie and talk about Game of Thrones some more. <laughs> so yeah, that was the last date I went on. <laughs> but in my defense, it is a lot of fun to talk about Game of Thrones. How are you fucking... <laughs> I have... 
I have impulse problems, all right? So like, there's this other story that I found out very recently, like chat helped me come to this discovery. When I was a, a senior in high school, I had this art class and I sat next to this girl and we would um, talk every day during art class. And I, and I had like my, my art stuff. I would draw stuff about World of Warcraft. And I would talk about World of Warcraft a lot. And I thought we were, we were good friends. We would talk all the time, every day. I remember one time I asked her out and I was like, hey, do you want to go to lunch with me? And she just pretended not to hear me. And I was like, um, so what about the art project you're working on? She's like, oh yeah, that, that you know, I, I'm doing this and this. I'm like, oh yeah, cool. It's like, okay, sure. I'm not going to push this subject, whatever. And um, I was I was showing like my, my art stuff to, to chat. Like, here's the stuff I did in my advanced art class. And everything I had was about World of Warcraft. Like, like all of my art was World of Warcraft related. And I was like, yeah, I used to talk about World of Warcraft to her all the time. And chat's like, that's probably why she, you know, pretended to ignore you. He's like, no, 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 she seemed really interested. I was like, yeah, just like the girl from the Game of Thrones story. I was like, oh yeah. You know, that explains it. I literally just talked about WoW all the time. Like every class, I would just <laughs> keep going and going. <laughs> I was having a blast, okay? I had so much fun. Like, this was some of the most fun I've had talking because I was just talking about World of Warcraft the whole time. And I understand now why she didn't want to hang out with me outside of art class. But I didn't get it at the time, you know? You just like to talk, I think. <laughs> I do like to talk. I remember there was this one girl. I, I was a junior in high school. We were in track. Uh, Cause like I was really good at sports, so a lot of people would you know come up and talk to me all the time. So I didn't really think it was weird that this one girl would come up and talk to me all the time. She would go out of her way to talk to me because we did like different, you know, the girls and boys are like separate. Uh, I could never remember her name though. This was like her name was like she had a really unique name. His name was like um her name was Miranda. No, it was Myrna. <laughs> so, her name was Myrna, and I always got it wrong. I kept calling her Miranda by mistake, and I, I had known her for like a month at this point. We talked literally every day during practice. When we had meets, we would spend the entire time just talking together. And like after a month, she would always get mad that I never remember her name. I was like, I'm gonna remember it today. Like I got this. I, I actually just just have this today. So like I, I practiced it myself. I was like, I'm gonna get it today. I'm gonna surprise her. You know, her name is Miranda. 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 I got this. I got this. So I go up to her and I so confidently like call out to her. I was like, Hey, Miranda. And she's like, Oh my God, you still don't know my name. It's Myrna. And I was like, oh no, I have egg on my face. So anyways, all of this time, so like we, we, we hung out all the time during practice and like during during the track meets. She would always ask if I wanted to hang out like after school or along the weekends. And I always say no, because like I, I wanted to go home and play World of Warcraft. And on the weekends I worked. And I just thought, you know, hanging out was just like hanging out. I was like, I don't wanna, you know, like I, I'd rather just play WoW, you know? And it wasn't until years later that I found out that like hang out is just like the easier way of asking someone if they want to maybe go out. And I was like, wait, all those times she asked me to hang out, were those invitations? Should I have said yes? Like if I would known that, I totally would have said yes. The girl was cute. I just didn't think she was interested. Yeah, because she would always ask if we can hang out on the weekends. And I'd always tell her no, because like, you know, I was busy. And she's like, so when do you, when do you have time off? I was like, I don't have time off. You know, I, I work every weekend. Like literally there is no time off. <laughs> Tell me something about Twilight too. Oh, I Palma. love Twilight. Dude, nobody knows more about Twilight than I do. Oh, Palma. wrong one. My favorite character in Twilight is Jasper. Jasper has the ability to control emotions. Like, just think about that. He can influence other people's emotions around him. There are some instances where like everybody's getting all heated up and he just like calms them all down. Ada, I am an expert on Twilight lore. Nobody knows more about Twilight lore than I do. You can also be a pro gaslighter. I don't gaslight people. That's just something people say is a joke. So like an empath? No, no, he can literally control other people's like emotions. Like he can make you angry, he can make you like calm down. And I always thought that's such a cool superpower. And it was so useful too. Because like part of the one of the main conflicts of Twilight. Oh. Why didn't that work? I don't have too many more stories. <laughs> so <laughs> I do have another story. So when I was in third grade, I had a crush on this one girl. And I would always try to get her attention. So I would talk to her all the time. I'd hang out with her during recess. And one day we're sitting next to each other in the school in like, you know, at lunch. There, there, there was this other kid named Bobby who was trying to get her attention as well. And he was trying to make jokes and he was laughing and everything. He was talking to her um, and she seemed like she was having a good time. She seemed like she was, she was having a good time. So she turned towards me and whispered into my ear and she said, you know, I like you way better than Bobby. And I was like, what does that mean? Does, does that mean she likes Bobby? What? So I was so confused by that that I never talked to her ever again. I avoided her for the rest of the year and that was the last time we ever spoke. 
But I mean, I was in third grade, so what do you expect? Do you like, if you beat me in a duel, would you be willing to sit in a call with me while I explain the entire Halo lore for the precursors to the end of the format? No! I don't care about Halo. I only care about World of Warcraft and like Twilight and Game of Thrones. The anime protagonist. I was really good at sports. This is why a lot of these stories exist like they do. Just like the girl who stabbed me to hold her hand. Oh, I told that in Aqua Meowie's chat last night. So like, I was in math class. And they moved the, the seats around and there was this one girl who sat next to me. Um, she was a cheerleader, which is, I don't know if that's important to the story, but that's just to say that she was very good looking. And she was in the middle of class, she'd be like, hey, you know it'd be crazy if we just like held hands. I was like, yeah, that would be crazy because I don't want to do that. She's like, come on, let's just hold hands just for a little bit. I was like, no, why would you want to do that? That makes literally no sense. I was so confused. She's like, come on, let's just do it. Hold hands for five minutes. And I just kept telling her no and no. And like, she kept asking me like every day. After about a week of pestering me, she she grabbed her pencil and just like stabbed me really hard in the hand. I was like, holy oh, <laughs> I was like, uh, okay, we'll hold hands because I'm not going to yell out in the middle of class, you know, cause a scene. It's easier to just hold her hand. So we held hands and I complained about it the entire time. I was like, this is dumb. It's like, how long do you want to do this for? Can we stop now? Why are your hands sweaty? Congratulations. And eventually she stopped and she never asked me to hold her hand again. Like it worked. I got my way. What an amazing love story. Exactly. <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> the thing is, she was very hot. If she had just asked me out, I would totally have said yes. I just didn't know that she was interested. I thought she just wanted to hold hands because she just liked holding hands. I didn't really understand until years later. I was like, wait, maybe that was a sign. Logs that failed. Yeah, I have, I have, I have my wizard powers. I made it to 30. <laughs> you deserve to have someone bored with Halo lore for the same thing you brought about those innocent women. They seemed so interested when I was talking about WoW and, and Game of Thrones. If they weren't interested, why did they seem so interested, you know? Like, I was having a great time. You know, am I supposed to, like, think ill of other people's intentions if I'm having a good time talking? Logs the Oblivious? I mean, like, I get it looking back, sure. But at the time, you just never know, you know? I'm sure you guys all have stories like this, too. I'm not the only one. More Oblivious than Ask Ketchum? I don't know, man. No? There's no way you guys don't have at least, like, five stories like I do. You guys aren't weren't all popular in high school and good at sports? And then miss, you know, some like, th those were very subtle cues, like no one could really pick up on them. I'm not, I don't think I even talked to females to tell the dumb stories. <laughs> I wish I had a high school life. <laughs> now bro, I never took a girl to house to talk about Game of Thrones lore. I mean, I thought it was weird she wanted to go over to my house. I was like, really? To my place? You don't want to go to like, I don't know, another place to hang out with? You are so dense. That was past me. Current me is no longer that dense. I, I get stuff now. I don't miss obvious cues anymore. Someone could have screamed, I want to date you, and it would have been 50 50. No, I mean, I've had girls ask me out before, too. I just told them no. I remember one time I had a girl ask me out, and when I told her no, she's like, well, I'm going to get you to say yes one of these days. I was like, uh, what? She's like, I'm going to get you to change your mind. I'm going to win you over. I was like, girl, we're not in a rom-com movie. Please don't. <laughs> I don't have to keep saying no. <laughs> Was that Miwa? No. It did not work. Uh-uh. She kept trying for months. Like, I could not get her to stop. And she would always try to, like, manipulate me, too. She'd be in my DMs and try, like, some manipulation tactic. And then I would calmly explain to her what she was doing. She's like, um, what you're doing here is called, uh, using pity to leverage. And she's like, oh my god, you're so smart. I can't believe I didn't even notice that. And then she would try something new the next day. Logs like, I'm not asexual. 